name is Frida Kumsen, and I'm the proud basilisk of the determined Delta Iota Zeta chapter based in Monrovia, Liberia. Delta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated was the first Black Greek sorority established in Africa, and that was in Monrovia, Liberia in 1948 by 12 determined women, Dr. Rachel Townsend, Laura Norman, Dr. Doris Banks Henrys, Rebecca Cassell, Mary Grimes, Mabel Fagans, Augusta Dennis, Margaret Traub, Sarah Kafas, Emma Draper, A.B. Simpson, and Adeline King. The first chapter president, Dr. Rachel Townsend, was from Liberia and attended Howard University in D.C., where she became a Zeta in the 1930s. She returned to Howard in 1942 to enroll her daughter and express interest in establishing a Zeta chapter in Liberia. She came back home and found other women who were interested and with the help of the international presidents, Lilia Harrison and Nancy McGee, the charter for Delta Iota Zeta was approved in 1948, along with an undergraduate chapter, Upsilon Beta at the University of Liberia. Early chapter programs focused on education of young women and girls and vocational training. Due to social, political, and economic problems, as well as the Civil War, the chapters became inactive during the 1980s. In 2017, our current chapter president, Frida Kumsen, began efforts to reactivate the chapter in Liberia, and under the current international president, Valerie Hollingsworth Baker, the chapter was reactivated on the last day of the sorority's 100-year anniversary on January 15, 2021, with five recharter members, Frida, Vicky, Frederikal, Korbalagai, and myself, Jabila. Today, there are two surviving members of the original chapter, Mabel Fagans Hill and T.D. Stewart. Our mission is to positively impact the lives of women, children, and average Liberians through sisterly love, service, and finer womanhood. And our vision is to promote and spread a new and refreshing version of a sisterhood organization of professional women dedicated to service and social uplift in Liberia. Our goal to positively impact Liberia are guided by our five service priorities, which are women's economic empowerment and literacy, childhood nutrition, sexual and gender-based violence, health, and young women and girls. Service and programs in 2021. The Delta Iota Zeta chapter of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated has remained true to the second founding principle of service. In the first half of 2021, we had two programs at our adopted school, the Ann Sando Independent School. On menstrual hygiene day, we provided 260 girls with reusable pad kits. And on the International Day of the African Child, we donated books. During our Finer Womanhood Month of March, so Sora Molba was a guest speaker for a Women's Empowerment Summit. And recognizing the importance of healthy lifestyles, particularly during the pandemic, we had a Take Time Out For You session to ensure we maintain a positive mindset. And we used Zumba with Zetas, led by our own Sora C for a fitness session. In addition, most recently, we supported women's health by sponsoring 10 women who needed screenings for breast and cervical cancer. We enhanced girls empowerment by co-sponsoring the third annual girls basketball tournament Rebound Liberia. We advocated to stop gender-based violence through social media posts during 16 days of activism, and we provided children in the pediatrics ward of Redemption Hospital with Christmas gifts. Upcoming events. As January 16th is our Founders Day and January 15th, our rechartering day, we are officially launching our Dr. A. Doris Banks Henry scholarships for graduating high school senior girls. In February, we'll host a fundraiser virtual tour of Liberia with Dr. Carl Patrick Burroughs. And in March, our Finer Womanhood Month, we will launch our Women's Empowerment Microloan Program. Our partners during this year were Light, Lifting Individuals Through Education, Rebound Liberia, Redemption Hospital, Pinkberry Frozen Yogurt, Ace Liberia, and Ann Sando 
Independent School. All we want is to come together. Siberia, all we need is to work in unity. Once more. Out of many people, Liberia's story is one history with one future. We represent the unity of a people originating from the same source. We are Liberians, and collectively we have the power to uplift a nation for a brighter tomorrow. A special thank you to our contributing scholars and historians, Dr. Burroughs and Dr. Guanu. And thank you for embarking on this journey with us. Let's continue to explore where we are going as a country and how we can use unity through migration to continue to thrive. to continue to encourage you to do better in your business, whatever you want to do. I know you're all here because you said you want to learn. Myself, I'm learning. We we'll never stop learning. Ever stop learning. Always learn. Always push yourself. I know the youngest one over there is not saying anything, but she's learning a lot, I hope. <laughs> From those of you who are doing things and you're pushing so that you can take better care of yourself, you can take care of your children, Mm -hmm. and your future. The businesses that you're in, they will grow. They don't have to grow quick. They can grow small, 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 small. You, Every one of you already have a plan for how you will grow your business. Mm -hmm. Your little thing you're doing, that's all that matters. You have to feed yourself, feed your children, have something small in case of emergency, and then the next time it will grow, it will grow. So I just encourage you to keep going. <laughs> keep going. Keep going, don't get discouraged. For everybody, me included. Life can be hard sometimes, but you can get through it. Mm -hmm. The young lady says she's here because somebody didn't have money for her school fees. But she's, she wants to learn. Mm -hmm. It's that. It's that inside you. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, that, it's that desire to do better. Because you know that people out there who don't want to do better. They don't want to do anything. Mm -hmm. But you've decided there's something you want to do for yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you want to do something for yourself, there's always somebody to help you. Just push you along. And one person push small, another person push small, another person push small, you push yourself, mm -hmm. and by the time you know it, you're right where you want to be. Mm -hmm. So I encourage you to continue. I will try and drop in every once in a while as you continue. 
um, in your in in the in the main reason you're here is one thing. The financial part is another part. Because even if you don't have business, the reading and writing business is so important. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't have business, the reading and writing part is so, so important. So thank you for that. Thank you for wanting to do it again. Because mm -hmm. plenty of people don't even care. They don't even care. Mm -hmm. You're women. Mm -hmm. You're women. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're